The next day, Birbal went to Akbar's palace to answer the third puzzle. Akbar is also ready with the third puzzle. He told Birbal that it won't be easy for him to answer today's questions. The set of questions in this puzzle will involve triangles. Let's see what the third puzzle is. Puzzle 3 Exploring Triangles Through Paper Folding Akbar asked Birbal, How will you find the midpoint of a right triangle using a paper? Birbal started folding a paper into the shape of a right triangle ABC. He then folds the paper to find the midpoint D of hypotenuse AB like this and then forms a line from the midpoint D to C. How can you say that point D is the midpoint of a right triangle? asked Akbar. Birbal folds the paper to prove that DE is the perpendicular bisector of CB. All points on the perpendicular bisector are equidistant from the end points of the segment. D is on the bisector. Therefore, C and B are both equidistant from D. Therefore, AD is equal to BD is equal to CD. What about the base angles of an isosceles triangle? asked Akbar. Birbal created an isosceles triangle ABC in which AB is congruent or equal to BC. He folded the paper in such a way that the BD is perpendicular to AC. But what if I compare angle A and angle C? How will you show angles A and C are congruent? asked Akbar. Isosceles triangles have at least two congruent angles. If I compare angle A and angle C by folding along the line BD, you will see that the angles opposite to the two sides of the same length are congruent, explained Birbal. How about the intersection of the angle bisectors of a triangle? asked Akbar. To explain this, Birbal first folds the bisector of each angle of a given triangle. Then he explained that the point of intersection of angle bisectors of the three angles of a triangle ABC is the in-center, denoted by I. Akbar was impressed, but wanted to test Birbal further and asked, How will you show the intersection at the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle? Again, Birbal folds the paper so that the perpendicular bisectors of each side of the given acute triangle can be formed. He then folds the lines from that point to each vertex of the triangle. Akbar asked Birbal, What is the common point of intersection of these lines called? Birbal explained the three perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle meet at a single point, called the circumcenter. Intersecting lines seem simple. How will you form the intersections of the medians of a triangle? asked Akbar. Let me show you, said Birbal. He first bisects the three sides of a given triangle. He then folds the lines from the midpoints of each side to the opposite vertex. What is the common point of intersection of these lines called? 
asked Akbar. The point at which the three medians of the triangle intersect is known as the centroid of a triangle. It is also defined as the point of intersection of all the three medians. In this triangle, point G is the centroid of the triangle because all the lines are intersecting at this point, explained Birbal. And what about the intersection of altitudes of a triangle? Curiously asked Akbar. Birbal started folding the altitudes of each side of the given triangle using the given piece of paper and said that point P is the intersection of the altitudes of a triangle and this point of intersection is known as the orthocenter of the triangle. That's impressive, Birbal. You have answered all the questions in this puzzle correctly. Stay with us to know if Birbal was able to answer Akbar's last puzzle.